Happy Sunday, guys. I'm finally getting out of the house. I'm gonna run a few errands, get a shoe fixed. I'm gonna attempt a little fix. Let's go check in on Jake. He's studying with his girlfriend. Let's see if there's real studying happening. So you could do the other things? Yep, they're really studying. Seriously? Yes, Hello. I'm documenting. All right, we'll be back. If you need anything, like, or a snack or something from Target, just text me, because we'll be there for a while. This is so intrusive. I know, that's my job, is to be intrusive. It's okay, you're a mom. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. Bye. Bye. Oh, and I have, um, I have dried fruit snacks. Do you, do you like those frozen? What? Freeze-dried fruit snacks, have you ever tried those? Yeah. I have grapes, pineapples, they're on the top shelf. We are just getting ready to leave for services. It's Rosh Hashanah starts tonight. And I set this, where can I set this down? I'm kind of off kilter there. Um, I'm just looking for earrings. Who's back here? Hey, Shani. It's very nice. You look very handsome. Um, Anyway, we're just getting ready to go. I'm just looking around my messy dresser for jewelry because I haven't put my stuff away. It's just scattered all over. And I will put a link to what Rosh Hashanah is because it's, this video is not long enough for a full explanation. But basically, it's the Jewish um, New Year. And it is not a celebration so much as the beginning of the 10 holiest days of the year. It's a very solemn occasion. Um, and somber. Ah, here it is. It's looking for my Tanner Bar necklace. Anyway, so services are tonight and then again tomorrow morning. And then, um, conservative Jews that are a little more observant than me celebrate a second day, but Reformed Jews only celebrate one. So that is that. And we're ready to go. And, um, ooh, it's a little boobage there. I am wearing an old Kate Spade dress that you can't really see and accessories. Good morning. It is Monday. It is Rosh Hashanah, which literally translates to head of the year. It's the new year. We had services last night. Not a lot of filming. Won't be filming in services today because today Michael and I are actually sitting on the pulpit. We call that the bima. That's pulpit in Hebrew, basically. Mm. Excuse me. I have hiccups. Anyway, so I cannot secretly sneak out my camera and film in front of several hundred people. So I just wanted to show you my outfit. Um, this is as far as we got. I had ordered, pre-ordered, Bubble Bar had let me pre-order some stuff um, that was not available yet and they were hoping to get it to me before today but watch it show up this afternoon. Anyway, so I'm just, this is the Donna Morgan dress that I bought during the Nordstrom sale. I've already worn it once to a fashion show thing. Uh, this is a very old necklace from a local boutique, um, kind of like Charming Charlie, but it's not, I'm not sure which earrings I'm going to wear. I think my Goriana pressed tanner bars. Then as far as shoes go, don't you love, this is what a real woman's closet looks like, a complete disaster. Um, as far as shoes go, okay, I'm leaning towards either my Stuart Weitzman's, which pretty much go. They go. They go very well. Or, to pick up the beige, my, um, beige, Louis, what are these? Christian Louboutins. Um, I don't know. I am leaning towards the Stuart Weitzman's because they're more comfortable. But then again, I'll be sitting for 90% of this. And the Louboutins are a little more daytimey. I don't know. I don't know. More neutral. This is the great debate. And yes, they're technically sleeveless cap sleeves, which is appropriate <clears throat> at my synagogue. Other synagogues it would not be. Although I may bring some kind of cardigan because they crank up the air conditioning like crazy in there. I think it's because the men, um, you know, are all in suits and stuff and so it gets a little warm. And then for my bag, which probably won't make a difference because I won't have my purse with me on the Bima, I'm probably gonna bring, no, I'm definitely gonna bring my Erin bag from Elaine Turner, which is right here. Hang on. I 
there you go. Here it is. Oh, see? Perfect. I'm also going to wear this dress again next Sunday. This Sunday. I'm going to Chicago for one day. My brother's getting married and his fiance's, or I guess it's, yeah, it's a fiance's wedding shower is Sunday. And I am flying up at six something in the morning and flying back out at 8.30 that night so I can get to the shower and meet the other ladies in the wedding party <clears throat> and just the timing of it. Jake had a game Saturday night that I didn't want to miss and I, just, I couldn't get a good time out on Monday that wasn't just too disruptive. So um, I'm coming in for the day, which is insane, but that's what I'm going to wear there. All right, I'm going to get dressed and fix myself up and get on to services. Okay, um, I have finished Pilates and now I'm dropping off auction items to the chairperson of um, our big gala that's coming up for the high school. We're in a really swanky neighborhood, so I'm checking out the houses. It's always fun. Who else likes looking at houses? I love house hunters. I like going to open houses. I don't, I like going to model homes. Okay, take the first right. Anyway, so this is the first of many errands to do, and then it's off to the high school to drop off bottled waters for teachers for Meet the Teacher Night. Then we're going to Michael's to pick up some craft stuff. Then I'm going to Target to pick up some stuff. Then I have to go to Best Buy. It's a crazy errand running day. Oh, and I have to film a video somewhere in the middle of all this. See what happens. Hey guys, just took a break from errands to, pick up to have a quick Thai food lunch, and I got my favorite, which is Pad Siu. Right there, a little egg roll action, spring roll action. Thai is the best. And then it's off to Target for my last round of errands before I go home and make this video presentable. Okay, I love Target. You all may know this. This is my favorite place on earth, but when did Target get so cool? Look at this. This is cool stuff. Look at all the plaid and fun things. Like they started adding, look at this. Just, this is the cool area, look at this. Look at all this cool stuff. It's like a, it's like a showroom, it's not Target. When did this happen? Ooh, look at those cow heads. All right, I'm trying to spruce up the game room. Let's see what we can do. Hey guys, I just finished uploading um, a, pal a video about reviewing Lorac palettes. All of my, not reviewing, but showing you my collection. I have to get dressed out of my workout clothes and into some presentable clothes because it's meet the teacher night. Michael and I are going to have to split up. This is the first time we have not been able to go together because one of us has to do Shane's teachers and one of us has to do Jake's teachers and I am making one of my favorite hurry up and go dinners which is tacos because you can just put all the stuff together and go. They do meet the teacher night in high school. I highly recommend going. It's kind of funny. Um, we had to split up. Michael did freshman classes and I did the senior classes. And there were very few senior parents. Um, in a class of 37 kids, there were in one class there was there were only three parents, four parents representing 37. And um, I just highly encourage you to do that. You really learn a lot about what's going on. You get an insight into the personalities of the teachers. And um, it's just really enjoyable. I really enjoy meet the teacher and I kind of wish that, that they were longer. They, they Each class period is I think like six minutes, so you don't really get a lot of time. But anyway, I'm going to clean up the kitchen because the kids left a little bit of a mess. Not too bad. A little bit behind me. A lot behind me. And I'm going to call it a night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, Michael and I just had a quick lunch at Oaks Crossing. Say hi, Michael. Hey, how are you? Oh, he got his head <laughs> in that phone. And I'm here with Jessica. She's in, t is she in charge of the makeup department? Um, yeah, I mean yeah. lead. I'm like second when my boss is in here. So. Right, she's in charge of the makeup department <laughs> at HGB. And we were just kind of hanging out. Actually, Michael and I had our heads in our phones looking at college stuff. That's what we were doing. Oh. And she came over and said, hey, and said, hey, I watch y'all's videos, which I thought was yeah. really awesome. Because I love 
love their videos. It's sort of weird, like, I vlog in here mm -hmm. all the time, and here you are and you watch my videos, so. That's yeah. great. That's, That's kind great. of just made my day, so just wanted to awesome. share that with you. And if you need any good makeup tips, I'm always Jessica. here. Oh, it's always here. Right. At least every time I'm here, which is always. <laughs> good marketing for Bye. Stuff, guys. <laughs> More time. A conditional has yeah. a blank of true or false. Yeah, conditional. What does that mean? A conditional has a blank. We're filling in blank. Um, true or false. That's what Google's for. Mm -hmm. No, seriously. Like, I don't even know. No, a conditional the is the term for the... For the what? Well, there's a... What does conditional mean? It could be a truth if value. Then. The truth oh, value... Oh, it's an if-then. Are we doing theorems? The truth value of a conditional ah. is either true or false. Shane, it's got to be truth value. Yeah, yeah. A conditional has a truth value. The truth value of a conditional oh, I'm supposed to say is either true, true or false. Um, there it is, Shaney. A conditional has a truth value of either true or false. That's it. Okay. Homework time at our house, and I am making dinner. So blind leading the blind here. None of us really understand geometry. Thank God for the laptop. I am making a staple, fusilli alla caprese, which is from Giada De Laurentiis. And um, go make a little frozen garlic bread and just something quick and easy because Shane has a geometry quiz tomorrow. And I don't remember what Jake has. He's got something. He's almost, he's not even home yet from football practice. Almost 6.30. Long day. So I don't think we'll be doing much else but making dinner, eating dinner, and doing homework. So that's it for Wednesday night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Game day tomorrow. Good morning. Um, we are at PetSmart. We're in the parking lot. And I've got these two shaggy beasts that are going to turn into groomed Westies. Oop, things are texting me. Homecoming drama. I'll explain later. Anyway, so this is Westies. This is what they look like before. Now we'll see what they look like after. We won the first game 46 nothing, and you can't read that. It's 14-6, uh, us, two minutes left in the game. It's very exciting. Shane's out there, so I'm going to go watch, and I'll catch you up on everything else that happened when we get home. Hey guys, we are back, and I just wanted to show you, sometimes it's really good to be a YouTuber. Today was one of those days. You know what? I need to... can't see me. I'm a little sweaty, I think I have a line. Anyway, whatever. It's eight, almost 8.30 at night. Still haven't had dinner. We won our game, yay! There are two freshman teams, two junior varsity teams, one varsity team. So we have five football teams at our high school, and we are in our fourth week of play, and so far every single team is undefeated, except we haven't played the varsity game yet. So, knock on wood, that was very exciting. I know you care. Anyway, Tarte sent me this huge package. It's a preview of their holiday favorites. I am just blown away. I will do a whole video on this, but here's some of the packaging. This is um, brushes are in there. That is cool. The coolest thing, however, is not is in a box. Sorry, these are all the boxes. Like it's just so cool. There's a palette in here. This the, what's in this box is a palette that has 24 eyeshadows, um, mascara, a double-ended brush, six Amazonian clay, no, plus another, oh, another palette that pops out with another six eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush, and highlighter. It's like everything you could possibly need in one. I can't wait to check this stuff out and let you know what to expect for the holiday season. Look at these, look, this is eyelash curlers. Like, oh my God. So pretty, and Tarte does. Yeah, I'm starting laundry, babe. It's open, you can add more stuff. You can add more stuff. I have used the Tarte um, lash curler in the past and it's a great lash curler. Don't know how well it's gonna work with all those rhinestones on it, but I'll let you know. Are you posing for no. the camera? Okay. Jake's off camera, like, doing things. Oh, and big news today! Do you wanna share the news or can I share the news? Can I do it? Can you do the, 
So Jake has gotten four letters of acceptance so far. The first one was Texas Tech. The what? The 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 yell. There. Don't say it yet though. So he got Texas Tech, and he got um, University of Texas San Antonio. He's officially also invited to attend Ole Miss, University of Mississippi. And today we got, you want to say it? Nah, Roll Tide! Alabama. Very excited. So it's good to have some options. And um, that's it. So, oh, and I did show you the dogs back from the groomer. Mimi girl, you look so pretty. Hello, hello. And here's Wrigley. Hi, Wrigley. And here's Bosley, the big guy. He's usually sleeping. I have no food for you. I have no food for you. And there's Wriggles. Hi, Wrigley. They're all clean and trimmed. And there was Jake. Anyway, I'm going to finish the laundry, shower up, and go edit some more videos. So I'm going to call it a night, and we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Good night, all. Hey, guys. I don't even know if I've blogged, blogged today or not. Like, that's how crazy it is. I'm working on a little project for Target, and I made my own bulletin boards. See? There's cork back there. Out of dish towels. Very excited about. Can't wait to share that video with you guys in a few weeks. Anyway, and then homecoming. Somehow I got volunteered by Shane to organize the group of kids for homecoming. If you're not familiar with homecoming, we'll talk about it next week when it's homecoming week. But it has nothing to do with coming home anymore. It's just a big football game at the high school. And there's all kinds of stuff, activities leading up to the day. There's twin day where you wear a matching t-shirt with your... Um, date and there's the mom exchange which is not even a mom it's like this giant thing that the girls wear decorated with their school colors and the boys wear it as a armband boys wear it as girls wear it as a pin but it like it's crazy um oh boiling and I am making my quick snack which is ramen just raw ramen boil it up real fast and then um throw some soy sauce on it just make it like pasta so I don't put the soup part in and all that sodium and gross. Ugh, I just don't like it. Anyway, I know I'm talking like a million miles a minute. But I have so much to do because I have to leave here in about 40 minutes. It is the varsity. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Let me finish homecoming. So there's like the, when you, then there's the big football game and then there's the dance the next night. And the freshmen are very excited about it because it's really the only dance they're allowed to go to. They can't go to prom. No, okay. And um, just wanted to make sure my dogs are not outside if the landscapers are coming in the backyard because they can run away. Um, so Saturday night, the night of the dance, they go to dinner as a group usually, and then they go to the they get like a limousine or some kind of special car. They go to the dance, and then there's an after party. So somehow I got put in charge of this group. And the group started with 16 kids, and it has grown to 27, and I'm coordinating it all, and it's going to be crazy. I can't wait to show you the footage from that. So I'm warning you now, next week's vlog will be late because it's Saturday night, and I really want to get all the homecoming footage in of the after party because my friend is helping me, and she's like a Pinterest queen, um, and the spread's going to be amazing at our party, the after party. It's a breakfast buffet theme at midnight. So, that's what's been going on. Anyway, now I have to hurry up and eat my lunch slash dinner at 4. Because I have to get back to the high school at 4.50 to do a craft party. The varsity moms are getting together to make crafts to put in the boys' lockers throughout the school year. Or as the season progresses. Different fun special things for them. And I had to pre-paint my pot. This pot is going to be a football. See, it used to be terracotta, now it's brown. There's collages, there's spray painting, it's very exciting. And then we do our usual polish and prayer where we clean the locker rooms and then pray. So, busy night, lots hopefully to show you, and um, just wanted to let you know what I was up to today. Okay, we have finished decorating the pots, they're all up there. they cute? They're all up there, all those nice little pots. Looks like now you gotta see outside. We've been 
spray painting t-shirts, one for Glow in the Dark Pep Rally and one for Pink Out. I'm talking, no, okay. don't worry, I'm not insane. I'm like, let me hide. Are you kidding? We should be so lucky to look at you. You look amazing. And uh, here's the, here's what's going on out here. It's a spray painting factory. Here's an artiste. Here's Jake's. Take some deep breaths away from this, Vivian. You're gonna. And just lots of moms doing their thing for the kiddos. So that's how we roll here. Okay, now we have moved to the locker room and new posters this week. I love this. My blood, my sweat, your tears. Is that awesome? And then there's, we're playing the Hornets. This is the finished result. Look at the snack for this week. Rattlers are dynamite. Light them up. Isn't this cute? It's filled with candy, don't worry, not dynamite. And then we have mommy sign. And then this is the team, this is what the team moms gave him. So I want to make sure his locker's clean too. And that's it. Watch what happens when he's finished. He looks so sweet. Look at that. Boom. Wrigley's being a little. Usually Wrigley will go for it too. Let's see, is it nice out? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Go outside. Go outside. I've literally rolled out of bed. I've not even brushed my teeth <coughs> or had my coffee. This is what I do first thing in the morning. Let the dogs out. So I'm going to go have coffee and brush my teeth and, and not in that order. And do something about this. It's going to be a long day. And we got TP'd again. They did a crap job. These kids are lazy. Man, when I TP'd houses, I put some effort into it. I mean, really? That's not really trying very hard at all. They suck. Not that I want to get TP'd again, but they're wasting toilet paper and they're doing a crap job. Like they could be making it pretty. <laughs> oh, this is the second time in like a month that this has happened. And um What's really funny is Michael came outside the first time and I thought he was going to be furious and he goes, you know, these kids are amateurs. Amateurs. This is nothing. Try living in Chicago with like pine trees and really tall oak trees and maple trees. That required some skill. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. I'm going to have to clean this up. But first, coffee. And the kids are going to help on this one. Hey guys, I've been editing all the vlog footage thus far. We're already up to 24 minutes and I haven't even gotten Saturday in. And since I'm leaving in the middle of the night basically to go to Chicago tomorrow and won't really have time to do any more editing tonight, I'm gonna cut it short and just not film the rest of Saturday. All that's gonna happen is more of what you've seen every week, which is sending the kids off to the football game and then going to a football game and then coming home. So, Hope you understand that I'm cutting this short because I want to make sure I get the vlog up on time for you tomorrow and this vlog has gone long enough. Please let me know in the comments below if you care or don't care about how long the weekly videos are because I'd like to keep them under 20 minutes. This week I didn't even get under 25 so I apologize for that. But let me know what you want or what you don't like or do like because that would help me a lot in planning what I film and what I don't film. Anyway, thanks again for hanging out with me all this week and I'll see you tomorrow morning for a Marnie and Michael Monday. Have a good one. Bye. Hey everyone, I thought it was high time I did a video on the unsung products of my makeup collection, the heroes, if you will. The stuff I reach for every single day but they never make it into the description box. 